Hi, you're watching App Sites. My name is Shaman. I give app and website tutorials and reviews. And today I'm going to be talking about AnyList. AnyList is an app you can use to create grocery lists and share them with friends and family. But it has many other features too. So let's get into it. So I'm going to open up the AnyList app. And the first thing it's going to ask me is if I want to allow notifications. And I would click allow because this will allow you to get notifications when someone that you share a list with is updating items or, or crossing items off the list. So I'm going to click allow. Then it's going to say get started. So at this point you will create an account or you would sign in. I already have an account so I'm going to sign in. If you look at the bottom left of the screen it says list and it's highlighted in blue. And this is the list page. Now normally you would have lists here if you've used the app before, but I deleted my list so I can show you from scratch. So you click the plus sign at the top here and I'm going to create a list and I'm going to call it grocery list and save it right in the middle at the top. It says add item. So if I click that, I'm going to have the opportunity to add an item to this grocery list. So I'm going to add ketchup. And you can see it auto populated ketchup right here. I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to add another item chicken. Now I can put chicken breast or chicken wings. I'm just going to just do chicken. Now, one thing that you notice here is that it automatically categorizes the items, which is very helpful. So when you're shopping in a store, all the condiments are going to be in one section, all of the meat is going to be in another section. And it makes it really easy to shop when you're in a store. So I'm going to click on the bottom where it says share or email or print list. So at this point, you can see I'm not sharing it with anyone. I'm going to click share list. And then it's going to ask me to type the email address of the person that I want to share this with. So I'm going to type in my wife's email address and I'm going to share that list with her. So she's going to get a notification that I want to share that list with her and then she can accept that and then we can share the list and I'll explain some things that I'll explain what that means now. So also the person that you share the list with is going to actually also have to have the any list app on their phone. So I can add another person if I wanted to, but I'm going to go back. So right now that this list is being shared with my wife, once she accepts that invitation, the list will automatically sync in the cloud and it will sync for free. So we're in the same store and I'm in one section. She's in another. She can cross off the meat and I can cross off the condiments and we'll see. OK, uh, he has this or she has that, you know, we're, we're working together or if somebody's in another store, we'll see what's going on. So that that's very helpful there. So I'm going to come to the top of the screen. Now they have a star icon right here to the on the upper left hand corner and that's for favorites. So I can just click there where it says add favorites and I can add an item there. If I always want to be able to access it, something that I that I get on a normal basis, I can add that there. Then right to the right of that, they have a clock icon and this is recent items that are here. So if I were to interact with this and I was to cross items off and use this list, you would see a list of things like ketchup and stuff. But since I haven't interacted with this list, you're not going to actually see anything. So as a matter of fact, I'll show you. So if I click ketchup right now, it's crossed off. So there's a few things I can do uh, right to the right of where it says add item at the top. There are some eyes. So if I click that eye icon, it's going to have a line that goes through it and it's going to say basically make all the crossed off items disappear. So I can click that eye icon again and the cross off items will still be there because, you know, maybe 50 things on this list. And sometimes you don't want to see what's already crossed off. So that's very helpful. So if I come back to this recent, you're going to actually see catch up there. So if I went through 10 items and I checked them off, then you'll start to see them there. And you can always come here and find something there in recent if you want to. Of course, I can add another item. Let's say um, cookies right there. And it's going to add it to the snacks category. So I'm going to go back into the list. 
and then I'm going to click over to the right of the eye. And right here, this says uh, upgrade to any list complete to assign items to stores and quickly filter your list by store. So that's something that you will do if you want to upgrade. So I'm going to click those three dots in the upper right hand corner again. And at the top, you can select and edit items. So that's pretty much in bulk. You can uncross all items. You can delete crossed off items. You can delete all items. You can also share, email, or print the list from here. And you can do an order pickup or delivery. And then it has list settings that you can go on and you can modify certain things in there. So let's come back down to the bottom of the app again. And as I mentioned before, we're on the list screen. So to the right of that is recipes. So they already have a few recipes that are already listed in here, but you also have the ability to add recipes from online. So if you click this plus icon, you can create a recipe or you can import a recipe from, from, uh, from the web. And that's pretty handy. So I'm going to click on one of these recipes just so you can see this. And then if I clicked on this roasted sweet potatoes, you'll see all of these items here that is here. Uh, so at this point, if I want to add one of these items, let's say I want to add sweet potatoes, uh, it's going to say where do I want to add it. So I'm going to click grocery list. And now anytime that I click on any of these items within the recipe, it's going to be added to that list. So if I go back here and then I click into the list, you're going to see all of those items there. So that is very helpful. Another neat thing that you can do with these recipes is if you come into here, you can click scale, but this is an upgraded feature. So if you click scale and you want to make it for more than, um, you know, two people or five people or however many you want to do, or however many servings or portions, you can scale it out and it'll show you how many more items you, you need to buy. And then they have a meal plan here, but this is another uh, upgraded feature where you can actually create the meals that you want for the week and add recipes to that date. And then uh, settings again. Uh, so you can actually see the account at the top, the theme, uh, you can see crossed off items on a single tap and a lot of different other things that, that are here. And this can also work with Google assistant and Amazon Alexa. I've never used that, but they have that here as options and a few other things that you can see on this, uh, setting the screen. And then to the right of that on the bottom, if you click upgrade, you can see it's $9.99 per year at the time of this recording for one individual and it's $14.99 for a household and you can see a list of all of the different things that you get that are included if you want to upgrade. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, give it a like. I'm going to be doing other app and website tutorials and reviews, so subscribe and click the bell icon to stay up to date with videos on my channel.